Welcome back, friends. My name is Miss Crystal. And I'm Miss Tara. Today is our last day to mm -hmm. blast off back into outer space as we talk about how to launch our faith in Jesus mm -hmm. to new heights. And to start off today's lesson, I want to think about all the equipment mm. that those astronauts yeah. have to wear. There's the big helmet so that they can breathe, yeah. the suit, yeah. the gloves, the big boots. Yeah. Speaking of boots, I bet after staying all day in that suit, mm. it would be nice to kick off those boots and soak those feet. I bet. That has me thinking, have you ever stepped in something really, really gross? <laughs> Would you want to step in it again? No. I am guessing no, because I know I wouldn't. No one likes to step in really no. gross things. And that's why we wear our shoes outside to keep our feet from getting really dirty. True. Today, we're going to hear a story about a group of people who had really <laughs> dirty feet. And one person, his name is Jesus, decided mm -hmm. that he would wash their feet for them. That's right. Our Bible story today can be found in John 13, verses 1 through 17, and fast forwarding a bit, verse 34 to 35. Jesus' friends, who were called disciples, mm -hmm. had really <laughs> dirty feet. That's because people in those days did not have boots or sneakers to cover their feet. Mm -hmm. They also didn't have nice paved roads nope. or cars or buses or bikes mm -hmm. to travel around. Instead, they usually wore sandals and either walked or rode animals down dusty roads. So mealtime back then was also different. Mm. Instead of sitting on a chair at a table, people used to sit or lie down on the ground to eat. That means their food mm -hmm. was next to Oof. those dirty Ugh. feet. Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> You probably would want to wash your feet before you dinner. You would. <laughs> and that is exactly what would happen. Back mm -hmm. then, people either washed their feet themselves mm -hmm. or they would ask the least important person in the room True. to wash their feet for them. That is why it is such a shock when Jesus yes. decided to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus wasn't the least important person in the room. He was the most important person True. in the whole world. True. <laughs> Other than Jesus... Who is someone else that is mm -hmm. really important? Pause the video and talk about who you think is an important person and why. When most people think about important people, they may think about people who have lots of power, mm -hmm. lots of money. Some of these people today and some of these people in the past may be presidents, yeah. kings and queens, famous people or rich people. Yeah. And those people would never do what Jesus did. Probably not. And that's because Jesus never acted mm -hmm. like he was the most important person and that he was better than others. This made people really confused because if Jesus was so important, yeah. he certainly wasn't going to be acting like he was. Instead of collecting money and building big houses or wearing fancy clothes or a crown, Jesus gave all his yeah. stuff away. And he spent his life serving others instead of having others serve him. Mm -hmm. Jesus went in the opposite direction of what others thought he should. Yeah, that reminds me of a simple experiment that you can do at home with us. All you need is a tall, clear cup or vase of, with water in it, <laughs> a piece of paper, a marker. We'll wait right here while you pause the video and you go grab that stuff. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a big arrow on a piece of paper, straight up and down. This was the direction that everyone thought Jesus should go in. What do you think will happen if I hold this piece of paper behind the glass of water? Jesus is like this arrow behind the glass of water. He always surprised people by doing the opposite of what they thought they were going to it's do. It's true. Just for fun, you don't have to do this part. But even words that look mm -hmm. all jumbled and mixed up behind the glass will become the right word. Jesus was the most important person in the world, but instead of demanding mm -hmm. that other people serve him, Jesus served others. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Jesus washed the disciples' feet? Pause the video and talk about that. Even though foot washing was really gross, Jesus knew his friends needed mm -hmm. their feet washed. Yeah. 
When he washed their feet, he was showing his friends how much he loved mm. and cared about them. Jesus was setting an example and he told his friends to wash each other's feet. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that Jesus wants us to actually wash our friend's feet? Well. Maybe. <laughs> it could be nice for our friend. But what Jesus was teaching his disciples and teaching us is that there are lots of ways that we can serve one mm -hmm. another and take care of one another. Yeah. In Romans 12, 3 to 8, it says that we must not see ourselves greater than what we really are. Mm -hmm. We all have different gifts and each gift came from God and we can use those gifts to serve and love one another. We have placed on our hearts a gift of being here with you today and sharing God's word with you. That's right. What gifts do you think God has given you? How can you use the things that you are really, really good at or the things that you're passionate about mm -hmm. to help others? Pause the video and talk about this. There are so many ways to serve others. Some of the ways to serve others are really easy, mm -hmm. but others can be really hard. When Jesus washed his friend's feet, it was dirty mm -hmm. and uncomfortable. It was a gross job. Their feet probably smelled yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably hurt to kneel on the ground yeah. for a long time. But foot washing isn't the most difficult thing no. that Jesus had to do. Mm -hmm. Shortly after the dinner where Jesus washed his friend's feet, Jesus was arrested mm -hmm. and killed because of the things he did and said. A few days later, Jesus rose yeah. from the dead. But that doesn't mean that he didn't suffer. Jesus' sacrifice was one way he served us. Mm -hmm. Because of his pain, we have a chance to have forgiveness, salvation, and life forever with God. Yeah. When we remember the huge sacrifice that Jesus made to show us love, mm -hmm. it makes our job of showing love to others seem way totally. easier. <laughs> Let's look at our Bible verse found at Psalm 119, verse 105. I'm going to say a verse and you repeat after me. Okay. Your word. Your word. Is a light. Is a light. For my feet. For my feet. A light. A light. On my path. On my path. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Verse 105. Verse 105. This reminds me that the word of the Lord is a great place to go and learn of how we can serve others just like Jesus did. So true. Let's take a minute to pray before we say goodbye today, guys. Lord, help us remember how exciting it is to serve others. Remind mm -hmm. us that when we serve others, we're launching our faith mm -hmm. to new heights and other people's faith too. Thank you for loving us enough to die on the cross for us and so that we can have forgiveness and salvation. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Bye friends. Bye. See you next time.